Today, I wanna to share with you the five core elements to a restaurant checklist. Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Gromf and I'm an author, speaker, chef, founder of therestaurantboss.com, restaurantprofitandperformance.com, as well as clickbacon.com. And today I wanna to talk to you about the five core elements of a great restaurant checklist. First off, what is a restaurant checklist or what is a checklist in general? The definition is complicated and confusing and everyone wants to make it more complex than it is, but really it's a simple tool with some kind of a checkbox that helps your staff do their job. It's not a tool to get them in trouble. It's not a tool for reprimand. It's just a tool to help your staff do their job better. A job they already know how to do, but it helps them mm, not forget things, let's say. There's a great saying or quote that goes something along the lines of, the pilot in the 747 knows how to land the airplane, but doesn't it make you feel a little bit better to know that he's got a checklist so he doesn't forget to put the landing gear down, right? They're trained, they know how to fly that airplane. They couldn't get into the captain's seat of a 747 unless they've got hundreds, close to thousands of hours of experience they are highly qualified, but they have a checklist for every procedure because there's a lot of things going on in that cockpit. There's a lot of bells and whistles and buttons, and I just want to know that they're not going to forget to drop the landing gear before we touch down, right? That's what a checklist is for. So let's get right into this. What are the five core elements of a great restaurant checklist? Well, first, a restaurant checklist has to be clean and professional. It can't be on scratch paper. It can't be a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. It can't be something that was created 10 years ago and has scratch marks in it. It's gotta be clean and professional. This is when your staff is gonna look at it and say, are my managers and my owners taking this seriously? Or is this just another thing they're gonna do that's gonna make my life more difficult? And if they don't look great and they don't come out great and they're not presented to them in a professional manner, your staff will not take them seriously. The second core element to a great restaurant checklist is that they must be dated, not just with the day of the week, but the actual date. Now there are very few exceptions to this rule, but generally speaking, all restaurant checklists that I train my clients on and that I used to put out to my restaurants were always dated. We would reprint sheets every single week with a new date, Monday through Sunday. This lets your staff know that you're on top of it, that you're changing them out, that you're fixing them, that you're making their corrections, and that what they have in front of them is always up to date. The third core element to a great restaurant checklist is that they're assigned to a specific station, not to a person. What I mean by that is that they're assigned to pantry, or they're assigned to grill, or to AM server or server one or server two or server three, not just servers in general. There's a couple of reasons. One, if someone calls out sick, everybody else needs to divvy up that checklist and get it done. Or let's say that someone is working a station that they're not that familiar with, they can just pull down the checklist for that particular station. But let's go back to the original example. If let's say server two calls out sick, then server one and server three are gonna to have to split up that checklist because it still has to get done. Another reason why it's important to have them assigned to a station and not to a particular person or to a group of people is that if you just say that all of this has to get done before servers go home today, server one is gonna say, well, I thought server two was gonna do it and server three is gonna say, well, I thought server one was gonna do it. But when server one has a server one closing checklist, there's no excuses, there's no questions asked, server one is responsible for everything on this closing checklist or maybe server side work as you call it before they go home. The fourth element is that your checklists are simple and specific. Now I know that that might be a little contradictive but what I mean by that is that they have to be simple enough that we don't have 30 words per line or that it's not overly complex. This is not a training tool it has to be simple enough that someone can look at it quickly and know exactly what needs to be done, but they also have to be specific enough that they know exactly what it means to be done, what completed looks like. That can often be done with a par amount or it could be in the description, but again, try to balance simple and specific. Not too much information that they're gonna be reading it for days, it's not a training document, but not so general that they don't know exactly what a good job, what completed means. When they check that checkbox, this task is completed exactly how you designed it to be completed. And then the last element to a great restaurant checklist is that they're easy to update. 
if they're done in Excel or in some complex piece of software where you have to know how to cut and paste and insert rows, it gets too hard on your staff. It gets too hard on you, frankly, and then they don't get updated on a regular enough basis. Plus, you're the only one who can do it. So if someone has changes they need to make and you're not available, then your staff may not know how to do it. I suggest using some kind of simple checklist builder, something that's easy to do like drag and drop functionality where you can very easily make the changes and the updates yourself, reprint them on a weekly basis so then they come out professional and beautiful and they have all of the functionality that you need built into them, but also your cooks or your managers or other people on your team who may not have the computer skills that you have are easy to go in and make the changes and update them because checklists are fluid documents. They're living, breathing documents. They don't just go out once and then, like I said, a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. They're updated on a very regular weekly basis so that way your staff has the best document in front of them that's always up to date. If you're interested in learning more about a checklist builder, below this video, there's a link to our new software called Bacon, and we have a great checklist builder built into that. So go ahead and click the button below to learn more. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Ryan Gronfen. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Hey everybody, Ryan here. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Would you mind doing me three really quick favors? First, would you like this video? Wherever you're watching it, there'll be a button for you to go ahead and click and like the video and then leave a comment somewhere so I could answer your questions. Two, would you go ahead and subscribe to this channel? That way I can continually deliver you the newest updates every time I release a video. And then three, I'd like to give you something. If you're the kind of person who really wants to get ahead in life faster, I have a 90 day planner here that I'd like to give you. I use this planner every day in my business and actually I think this is one of the reasons why I'm able to get as much done as quickly and as efficiently as I'm able to. See every year when I sit down to plan out my year, I sit down and I do four of these 90 day planners because I believe that we can't get as much done in a month as we think we can, but we can get a lot more done in three months than we think we can. And so I've developed a system, I call it my 90 day planner system, where you can achieve just about any goal you want in 90 days if you follow this. And I'd like to give it to you completely free. Like I say, this is on my desk every single day and I use it in my business and I teach my clients how to use it. And I'd like for you to have it for free. All you have to do is head over to therestaurantboss.com forward slash goal, G-O-A-L. Again, that's therestaurantboss.com forward slash goal. And then just give me your first name and email address and I'll send this right over to you, all four pages. Until the next time I see you, go out every day and improve the lives of your customers, your employees, your vendors, and of course, your family.